I, another film I watched this week was Willard, the 1971 adaptation of Ratman's Diaries, a story of young Willard, who uh, his uh, father, having died sometime earlier after his company was bought out by the cruel and ruthless Mr. Martin, played by Ernest Borgnine, Willard has been kept on to work as a clerk in the company's office, being mistreated and bullied by the other staff and dominated by his mother, who treats him as though he's a little boy. However, one day, after a disastrous birthday party, he befriends some rats that are living in the garden and gradually develops and trains them into being his uh, personal friends. When he sees the opportunity, he uses them to settle the score with those who've wronged him, but soon discovers that the rats are far more intelligent than he expects, and he has far more uh, serious problems to deal with. Um, this is a, a classic movie. It was uh, remade uh, in 2003 with uh, Crispin Glover, and there was even a sequel a couple of years later in the mid-70s uh, titled Ben, which spawned the Michael Jackson song of the same name. But I found this to be quite flat and quite dull and quite unengaging. The rat action is boringly filmed and quite uninteresting. A lot rides on the performances, and Bruce Davison is an unusual choice, uh, being better known for com comedy now, but as of a, at the time, he's quite a capable performer. He's fine in the role, um, conveying a lot of Willard's um, inherent awkwardness and the almost burgeoning romance with a temporary colleague played by Sandra Locke. But it all feels very flat and bland and there's little sense of mounting t terror or suspense um the direction is really very weak in the whole movie um i like to as borgnine playing a character who's just a flat out bully just just an, a really unpleasant person because i'm so used to seeing him playing tough but fair characters like uh, rogo in the poseidon adventure or likeable uh, rough types like in Marty. Here he's just a dick. <laughs> um, and Elsa Lanchester as the mother is this this cloying, um, suffocating woman who refuses to treat Willard as though he's an adult and even invites only her own friends to his birthday party. So it's entirely old people and while refusing to allow Willard to have a girlfriend because she's so paranoid about her having her affections taken away. There's elements there that are interesting that could make for a potentially engaging story, but the film is so superficial and so bland and so weak in the direction that it never gets to grips with any of this interesting psychological stuff. And the result is that it's a very bland and superficial film. I can't imagine that Ben is a great deal better, but I'd be interested to see the remake because that, I'm sure, digs much more into the psychological aspect of the story and generates a work that I think is far more worthy of attention and study than this was.